Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost a, a rite of passage, if you will, for older actors who have been through the trenches and are still uh, a box office favorites to play the old curmudgeon, you know, someone who is <clears throat> being old and set in his ways, but somehow still has a heart of gold. Most of the good actors have done this already, and Tom Hanks is certainly no exception. But his doesn't reach the bar. Why? Cinematic class is about to begin. Your professor is in. Greetings. Salutations, another sundry affair. <clears throat> I am your cinematic professor and purveyor of truth in movies. Hey, I mentioned some of the actors, and I'm sure you'll recognize when I when I give you their names. Of course, Robert De Niro did this. Alan Arkin uh, did it rather well in a couple of movies. Clint Eastwood, remember Grand Torino? That was pretty. That was pretty good. And <clears throat> probably the epitome of playing the grumpy old men were the movies of the same type. They were Jack Lemmon and uh, Walter Matthau. They did a, played a pretty good uh, comedy duo for, for those guys. But there is a big difference here between what those folks who have gone before have done and what Tom Hanks is doing in his portrayal of Otto in A Man Called Otto. <clears throat> Previously, grumpy old men rebelled against the, no, I don't mean that movie, I mean the, the grumpy old men characters rebelled against the changing society and culture. Otto doesn't rebel against it. In fact, it appears he's embracing it. And therein lies the flaw of this film. It's really difficult to accept Hank, says Otto, and it's difficult to accept Otto, the character, as a grumpy old man, as he is really tolerant of everything that is the current buzz of theme in today's culture and society. He is tolerant of illegal immigrants. He is tolerant of the transgender movement and lifestyle. And he is also tolerant of turning America into a dual language nation. In fact, in this whole movie, his only line in the sand, if you will, is age discrimination. That's a good one, but yeah, the other three are kind of up there too. Mark Forster directs this uh, this misadventure, and the screenplay is written by David McGee. It is based on a book written in Germany, and also was a German film. And this was by a Frederick Bachmann. Also behind the camera on this, Matt Chessie that makes this movie way too long. I mean, we know well into it, what the character is like, and yet he continues to beat us like a the proverbial dead horse, if you will. And I think it's done that way just to accommodate the story's social agenda. But now, it is time to peel back the veils of time and head back to the early Cretaceous period for the nation's first and only prehistoric film critic, Rex. All right, Rex, call it as you see it. Starring in this movie with Tom Hanks is Mac and Beta. Uh, Mariana Trevino and Truman Hanks, and I, and I have to tell you that I really think the main reason that Tom Hanks even agreed to do this movie was to provide him with the opportunity uh, to work with his son Truman, and uh, if that really was the case, then he has succeeded, certainly. Hanks has an impressive array of films in his repertoire. This is not one of them. And now that you have learned what you have learned, here it is, your lesson. 